This video is inspired by Devil Hunter and today we're going to be tackling on a pretty tough subject. It's going to be how can I forgive myself for past mistakes and for not making better choices years ago? <sighs> All right, this is going to be whew, this is going to be a heavy one, but let's try the best to answer this together. First off, I want to acknowledge something really important here. Now, obviously, you most likely have been carrying this such heavy weight of, you know, the past mistakes or choices for a very, very long time now. Maybe it's decisions you didn't make, you know, opportunities you've missed, or maybe moments, you know, where you feel like, you know, you didn't live up to your own expectations. And let's be honest, the truth is that this weight can be extremely exhausting you know it can make you feel stuck like and you can't even even move forward in life but today let's try in the best of our abilities how you know we can begin the process you know of forgiving ourselves you know how can you release the guilt and the regret you've been holding on for so very dear long and you know, and finally step into a future where you feel lighter more at peace and open up to the new possibilities in life. Because here's the thing, no matter what you did wrong in the past, you deserve that peace, and it starts obviously by letting go to the past. So with that being said, step one will be. <laughs> so obviously the first step we all have to do is to make sure that we acknowledge the pain we feel, you know, without letting it define who we are. We all make mistakes, we are, human it's bound to happen uh, and sometimes you know those mistakes feel like they be become a part of us you know like um like they shape our identity but i want to tell you something my friend you are not your past your mistakes your regret you know your missed opportunities they do not define who you are at your core. It's okay to feel sadness or even anger uh, when you think about your past, you know, that's totally natural, but holding on to these feelings forever, you know, only keeps us stuck in, um, in a version of ourselves uh, that just simply no longer exists. You can acknowledge what happened and accept that it was a part of your journey and still choose to rewrite your story from this point forward. Remember, you are a work in progress and the past is only one chapter of your life uh, and it doesn't have to dictate your entire story. The second thing we have to talk about in forgiving ourselves and from our past is... <laughs> One of the most powerful realizations is that a person you were years ago when you made those mistakes is simply not the same person you are today. Think about it for a moment, my friend, like you've learned, you've grown, and if you've gained wisdom over time, the decisions you made back then are simply based on knowledge, experience, and the circumstances you had at that time. You didn't have the perspective you do now. We're often hardest on ourselves because, you know, we judge our past choices with, you know, the wisdom we have in the present. But that simply is just not fair to the person you were back then. Growth is a journey. It doesn't happen overnight, and it certainly doesn't happen all at once. Sometimes we have to go through difficult moments in life and make mistakes to learn the lessons that shape who we are today so when you think back on your past instead of saying um, I don't know oh I should have known better try saying you know I know better now and that's what truly matters you simply just can't change the past but you can use it to guide you towards a better future the third topic I want to talk about regarding forgiving our past choices is Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you we all have that inner critic you know the voice in our heads that loves to remind us of every mistake we've ever made you know that inner voice might say things like oh you should have done this 
or you know why didn't you make different choices and that voice can be relentless making it really hard to forgive ourselves but here's the thing that inner critic doesn't always tell the truth it's like a filler that you know distorts reality focusing only on the negatives while you know ignoring all of the good you've done in your life you know all of the lessons you've learned and the growth you experienced when you hear that critical voice in your head Tr uh, challenge it you know ask yourself would i talk to someone i care about this way chances are if a friend came to you feeling regretful about their past you know you wouldn't tear them down about it you know you would remind them of their worth encourage them to move forward and show them grace so why not offer yourself that same kindness you know you deserve it just as much as anyone else my friend the fourth thing I want to tackle on in forgiving yourself from the past is... Ife continues a 100% record here this week. Part of forgiving yourself sometimes involves making amends. Is there someone you heard or a situation you feel you could, you know, have handled differently? If it's possible, you know, reaching out to acknowledge what happened and express your desire to make things right can be incredibly healing for both you and the other person. But here's something very important to remember. Not every situation can be fixed unfortunately and that is just simply okay you know sometimes making amends means forgiving yourself for the things you simply just cannot change you can't always undo the past but what you can do is you can choose to live differently moving forward self-forgiveness is about accepting that you've done what you can and letting go of the rest the fifth thing we're going to tackle on regarding forgiving your past self is the heart of self-forgiveness is self-compassion. It's recognizing that you are human and being human means you will make mistakes. It means you will sometimes fall short. But you know what it also means? It means you have, you know, the ability to learn to grow and to move forward with you know more wisdom and understanding i know it's incredibly easy to be hard on yourself you know to replay those old moments over and over and over again in your head you know wishing you could go back and change them but you know self-compassion is about shifting that mindset instead of focusing on what you didn't do ask yourself this how can i be kinder to myself in this moment you know how can i learn from this you know and choose differently in the future compassion doesn't erase what happened compassion helps you move forward without the burden of shame it allows you to release that weight off your shoulders and to start living with a lighter heart the next thing that we're going to talk about regarding forgiving your past is now this is something really important forgiveness isn't a one-time thing it's not like you decide to forgive yourself once and never struggle with it again it's sometimes you have to choose over and over and over and over again especially when those old feelings of guilt or regret start creeping back in every time you feel yourself slipping into the pattern of self-blame you know remind yourself of your growth remind yourself of the compassion you deserve every day is a new opportunity to choose forgiveness and to let go of the past little more now here's my final thoughts regarding this topic matter and it's something that's so important and crucial and one thing we probably you know just never practice because we're just as humans you know we're just too harsh on ourselves but that final thought is yeah, selv for de gavede, kan det smutte. at the end of the day here's what i want you to take away you are worthy of forgiveness 
regardless what you did before you are worthy of peace the mistakes you've made in the past don't define who you are today they don't take anything away from the value and potential that you hold today listen my friend i know it's easier said than done and it takes time but when the time is right it's time to let go of that weight that burden and it's time to forgive yourself not because you know the past doesn't matter or anything like that but because you matter more every moment is a new chance to create the life you want to make better choices and to move forward with the more clarity and self-love you deserve that is going to be a wrap up on today's topic video if you made it this far god bless you and thank you for taking a few moments out of your day for checking out this video if you watch this video devil hunter i hope my message hopefully resonates with you and hopefully it you know inspires you and motivates you and i hope i just hope obviously that this helps this video like i said time does healing and i'm sure it's easier said than done but i just my objective hopefully with this video and message is to make your day just a little bit better and then as time goes on the healing will do the rest and that also goes for anyone else that checked out this video i hope this message resonates with you if today's video or message spoke to you, I love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. You know, let's talk about what's going to further, you know, discussions if you guys want to. Also, don't forget the comments are there for any suggestions, input, or topics you would love for me to talk about in a future video. And if you're looking for more support on, you know, your journey towards healing, personal growth, and forgiveness, don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and yeah you guys thank you so much for checking out this video and remember you're not alone in this we're all here together walking alongside of every step of our journey i am adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night god bless you stay safe be safe i'm adam signing off peace